Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on in. Hello. I'm I'm introducing you today on Periscope to Max, the adorable pooch who I'm house sitting. Hi Maxie. So lots of hearts for Max. He's super cute. I I thought he'd probably interrupt this periscope anyway. So uh uh don't think you're allowed up on this couch there, buddy. No. Hi. So yeah, this is Max. I figured he'd be making an appearance on this periscope at some point. He's just adorable. Uh flip. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. I am Natalie Sisson from the suitcaseentrepreneur.com. This is day six of the 30 day periscope challenge, uh, a challenge in which I'm attempting to turn up every single day with a new tip or strategy for you to create more freedom in business and adventure in life. And to obviously also show you a rather cute dog. Hey, it's Max. Uh, I'm a huge dog lover, by the way, so he's going to feature a lot while I'm house sitting. And also to challenge you to turn up every day, join me in the community, get used to Periscope, share lots of lovely hearts as you're doing. Um, hello in Kurdistan. That is pretty cool to have somebody from there. So if you can let me know where in the world you are right now, where you're tuning in from. And also what helps me is to know what stage of business you're at. Are you just starting out? Are you considering a business? Are you freelancing? Are you traveling the world and too busy to work? Which would be pretty cool. Um, oh, neat. Oz, I'm really glad you're enjoying my periscopes just before you go to bed and then you have your head buzzing with ideas. Hello, France. Max is in the house from Newport Beach in California. What's up, Max? Saudi Arabia. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, somebody here keeps asking me about Skype. Yes, I'm definitely on Skype, but no, that doesn't mean I want to connect with you there. It is around 11 a.m. in New Zealand, so I know it's late in um, in parts of Europe, so thank you for tuning in from Holland. Hello in Ontario. Oh, hi. <laughs> Good to see you here. Lots of hearts. Lovely. So today's tip, day six, is all about creating a morning ritual. Why a morning ritual? Because, oh God, okay, Max has just come in for a... Oh, okay, this is what I just have to show you what he does. This is what he does. He just like it's just look at this. Super cute. There's Max. Okay. Um so hello Brazil. Hello Auckland. Hello UK. Uh so a morning ritual is really important. And why morning? Because it's been proven with tons and tons of research <laughs> that the morning is the best time <laughs> possible um for you to get started on the things that uh, <laughs> most important. Sorry, Max has totally stolen the show, hasn't he? Hi, Mexico and Maryland. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't actually know what breed he is, but I think he's kind of like a bit of an Irish setter. Super cute. Very adorable. <laughs> so morning has been proven as one of the best times to actually get things done and be more productive. And there is a link that I will share on my YouTube channel below this video. So I'm posting all of these daily periscope challenges on YouTube youtube.com forward slash Natalie Sisson. And I will link to a piece of research that was done about all the most, many of the most successful people, even from centuries ago. And almost all of them did their best work in the morning and started off with a morning routine, whether that was exercise, whether that was smoking a pipe, whether that was writing straight away. Um, there were some really strange routines like Mozart and things getting up at 2 a.m. in the morning to actually do and create amazing music. Uh, am I famous? Oh, I'd love to think I'm famous. I'm not famous on Periscope. Uh, I'm famous in my own little world of, of freedom and suitcase entrepreneurship. But thanks. Depends on what your level of fame is. So the interesting thing is that almost every single person was getting up early in the morning between like 4 or 5 a.m. or onwards and basically doing their most important work then. And a lot of them had their own morning ritual. And I used to have some really great morning rituals. Uh, especially after knowing that they were very important and have really made me feel great when I jumped out of bed. Uh, one of those that you may have heard of is called The Six-Minute Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, who's written a book, and literally it's six things you do in six minutes in the morning, and I think every single person has six minutes with which they can start their day. And it's very, very simple. The very first thing you do is actually sit for a minute in silence, so it's a little bit like a meditation, but just one minute of breathing and silence to clear your head one minute of writing out your gratitudes, uh, one minute of reading uh, just a page from a book, one minute of saying your affirmations, I believe it is, and one minute of exercise. I might have screwed up the order here, but you get my drift. The point is that anybody can spare six minutes in the morning in order to start their day off in the right place. And gratitude is the key thing that I wanted to talk about today. 
very important way to start your day is to wake up thinking about all the things that you're grateful for, even if that is just the fact that you're waking up feeling healthy. Some people don't even get that opportunity or that you're getting um, kisses from a dog. So I want to share with you my tip that I've started as my new morning ritual and was doing uh, for several months last year and even the year before was starting out with the five minute journal. I'm just going to grab it. Oh. So five minute journal has been created by a couple of cool guys, a very simple, you can actually get the physical book. And I like writing gratitudes in a physical book uh, because it, writing the act of writing down makes it so much more powerful. All I can see is, is Max's nose. Um, so what it is, is in the morning for about three minutes, you write in the following things. So I'm going to open this up for you and show you. Okay, so in it, hello from the UK, is the things that you do each day. So in the morning, it takes about three minutes. In the evening, it takes about two. Hence why it's the five-minute gratitude journal. So um, the five-minute journal. So for example, the first thing is you write down three things that you are grateful for. And then you write down three things that would make today great. So you're already having to think about in positive terms the great things that are going to happen today. And then you write down one daily affirmation. I am. I'm going to give you an example in a minute. In the evening, you come back to this and you write down three amazing things that have happened today. And then you write down how I could have made today better. But you don't write that down in a negative way. You write about it as in the positive and what you're going to do tomorrow to make it even better. Thank you for all your hearts. So, for example, today I wrote... I'm grateful for Max, the adorable dog I'm looking after. I'm waking up to the stunning view of Whitby Inlet, of the amazing international friends that I have checking in on me at this point, which is lovely. Uh, what would make today great is I start my morning ritual off with yoga and the dog walk, which I did, as well as this book. I finalize my apartment legally and my new banking. And I spend quality time with my mum. And then the daily affirmation is, I am loving, kind, and generous to all and receive the same goodness back. So that's what I've written in for today. Hopefully that sounds good. So once again, the five-minute journal, you can I think you can buy it online. Check Amazon. It's available in bookshops. And I believe that they have bought out an app. Uh, you could make your day better by buying a Ferrari. If that's going to make your day better, it sounds a little bit materialistic to me. But if you're going to drive that car every day and appreciate it every day, and love it so much and enjoy the thrill of driving a Ferrari, then yes, that might be a good idea. <laughs> um, for some reason, somebody keeps asking me what I use for teeth whitening. I don't use teeth whitening at all, but thank you for saying that my teeth are white. I'm quite excited about that. So I'd love to know now in the comments here, um, do you guys have a daily ritual? What's working for you? Because I always love learning from people on what is working for them. More hearts, keep them coming. Thank you so much. Um, Max is now cuddled up on the floor, so he won't be interrupting. <laughs> oh, yes, Max, I'm I'm not talking about you, unfortunately, but uh, if you want to cuddle out on the floor, I'm sure that this dog would be happy to join you. Do I consider myself being spiritual? I'm spiritual in some sense of the word, yes. I'm definitely agnostic. I'm not a religious person, but I'm definitely spiritual. I do believe in the universe energy that gets put out and in doing good things to other people and having that goodness come back to you. Oh, thanks for those beautiful hearts. They actually match my top. Oh, and they're also my favorite color. So thank you. Uh, probably the similar colors I'm going to use when I'm redecorating the apartment that I've just bought and I'm looking forward to making my home, the first home I've had in five years. So anybody else want to share their ritual in here? Anything that you do each morning that makes you feel good? Who... Which of you people does meditation? Do you do yoga? Ah, okay. So you're Amy. Oh, sorry. Anyway, hi. How are you? Start every day with exercise, walk, cycle, run, anything. Couldn't agree more. That's why I've just been doing the yoga to get my body moving. But then the ritual is to also include a daily dog walk first thing in the morning. So I absolutely agree to getting your body moving. I know Tony Robbins does that as part of his power hour. First thing he does, manifestations, affirmations, meditation and then straight into moving his body. Anybody else want to share anything that's worked for them in the past? Do you like to get up and do writing? I know my friend Shini, Shrini Rao um, does that every single morning. He gets up and writes around a thousand words. It's very impressive. I know for others, they love to meditate. I know for other people, they just like to make breakfast and have it uh, with their family. So who have we got here in theory? Yes, I don't always manage it. Start with exercise, walk, sun to school, brain dump, then work. That sounds like a good one. I like that you're having quality time with your son in there on the way to school and walking with him. And I'm sure you have cool conversations as well and just appreciate that precious time together. Uh, who have we got here? 
memes, get up every morning and then I sleep two minutes later. <laughs> okay, well, you know, you get up to sleep. It's definitely an interesting one. Max is a 30-minute power walk. Awesome. Uh, Watsuemba sings in the shower to uplift your mood. I like that. I don't know if you've tried the hot, cold shower. Uh, another Tony Robbins trick there is you have um, hot water to, you know, spark yourself up, and then cold water really absolutely changes your state of being. I tried it um, for several weeks when I was in Breckenridge, Colorado last year. It was definitely pretty awesome and a great way to wake up your entire system, all your muscles, all your proprioceptors, everything, your nerve endings just came alive. Loving these hearts. Thank you, people. So any other rituals that you want to share? Otherwise, this was my daily tip for day six. If you're following this, please use the hashtag um, 30dayPC for Periscope Challenge. And as I said, all of these videos are being posted up after they've been done on YouTube. You can find me at youtube.com forward slash Natalie Sisson. Uh, the suitcase entrepreneur. Yeah, and I will link to, as I said, below that YouTube video, I'll link to the research that's been done about early morning starts. And I'll also link to, if I can find it, Tony Robbins tips around doing that as a morning routine. I believe I heard it on the Tim Ferriss podcast. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining. I can just see a few people joining now. We were talking about the power of morning rituals and routines. So I hope that you guys have considered more about what you can do. Um, yes, definitely not checking social media before doing your most important action. You get way more done that way. I totally agree. I talk about your six most important actions of the day, and none of those include jumping on email or social media first thing. So please take a time out for yourself in the morning to really establish how you want to share and spend your day, who you want to spend it with, um, what you'd most like to achieve and how you're going to start off the day in the best possible way to allow you to accomplish all that. Thanks for tuning in. As I said, this is part of the 30 day challenge. This is day six. So thank you for turning up every day. For those of you who have been, it's almost always around this time, um, around about between 6.30 to 7.00 PM Eastern standard time. Appreciate if you're in Europe, that's a little late, but um, trying to fit everybody in here. And you can always see the recording on Periscope for 24 hours after or youtube.com forward slash Natalie Sisson. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'm going to go back to Max to finish this off, who just cut out here on the floor. Say bye, Max. News.